uh, coming to our International Women's Day event. My name is Andrew Chung. I'm uh, one of the staff here and uh, currently coordinating and uh, managing the gender-based analysis, which we'll be talking about later today. Um, I know we're starting a little bit late, um, and it's a Friday, so we really do appreciate everyone coming tonight. Um, it's wonderful to see uh, so many people, staff, volunteers, uh, our stakeholders, partners, allies, um, who we've known for, for a little, little time and for a very long time. So um, again, it's wonderful to have all of you here. Um, tonight we are going to be, um, we have uh, the honor of having um, some very special guests, uh, Karen Lior, um, who we'll introduce later on. She's the Executive Director of the Toronto Workforce Innovation Group and uh, a special guest, uh, mus musical performance. And uh, we're going to go through um, sort of uh, some of our findings of the gender-based analysis that we've conducted um, around our programs and services that we offer to immigrant women um, over the last year. Um, so right now, I would like to introduce uh, Serena Sandy, our Executive Director, um, who will uh, be taking us further into the evening. Thank you. Welcome to Skills for Change. Uh, this year, we're observing International Women's Day with newfound insights into the challenges facing immigrant women within the Canadian community. Today, Skills for Change is at the forefront of the call to action to respond to those challenges. And we hope that everyone in this room, our friends, partners and allies, who share our values and commitments so deeply will respond to that call. What is our call to action? Well, it begins with the report we are about to present to you. The report is the first of several we conducted over the course of 2011 and 2012, with key information on the gender-based analysis of our programs and services. For years, Skills for Change has understood the unique barriers to employment that immigrants face. Yet our understanding of the employment barriers facing immigrant women has never been as deep as it is now. And it goes further than employment barriers. For Skills for Change, immigrant women are more than just statistics. They are a community of leaders, each with their own incredible stories. Stories of survival, connectedness, isolation, struggle, hope, and success. A community of leaders which we owe attention and careful consideration. So it's not just about employment or settling that we want to focus on. It's so much more. Tonight, as we share our findings and delve deeper into what we know about the experiences of immigrant women, we want to challenge you to help build the leadership capacity of our immigrant women, to give them the tools and support to break free of gender-based oppression. Together, we can demonstrate the courage of conviction to support, to champion, and to help innovate the ways in which immigrant women can fully participate in the democratic economic, social, and political aspects of being Canadian. We would like to thank our project funder, uh, Status of Women Canada, for their continued support and encouragement in helping us to come so far in our project. I would also like to personally thank Joanne thomas Jacato. She was a gender, best, uh, gender lens specialist who conducted the analysis. And also to thank Anshula Chaudhry and Social Asset Management as they continue to work on a project evaluation. And of course, I just want to take a moment to thank our Skills for Change staff who are really instrumental in pushing the project forward. So you've been introduced to Andrew Chung. And within the audience, we have um, Kerry Kelly, who does our communication and digital um, information management. And of course, we have Holly Best, who works with Andrew on Status of Women, and program team of uh, Palwasha Saheli. And we also have uh, Mona Ali, she's not here today. And also want to thank one of our volunteers, Irina. She's been volunteering to help us with coordinating our pro projects and different events at Skills for Change. Um, we also want to mention the other people who have given a lot of different hours and of their time to helping push this project forward. I hope tonight will be filled with determination to understand the societal repercussions of violence and discrimination against women and to motivate us all to work together in creating the pragmatic solutions that provide space for the voices of immigrant women to lead the way. I welcome you tonight and I thank you once again for your support. 